Morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, March 9th, 2023. Let's take a relaxing brain break. First, stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air as if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. I can never get enough of these relaxing brain breaks. Now do you have it today in history with Nia. Destiny, Patriots. Today in history, on March 9, 1959, the toy doll Barbie was introduced. Barbie's appearance was modeled on a doll named Lily based on a German comic strip character. She had various jobs which inspired kids to learn more about the future. Since then, Barbie has come a long way. They have animated movies, new dolls, a series, and a huge toy collection. More recently, Barbie has a movie coming out on July 21st of this year. Wow, I wonder if Barbie is going to have a movie with all of the different Barbie adventures they have. If they do, I'm definitely going to watch it. Now let's see what's on today's menu with Ariel. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasty lunch is turkey hot dog, turkey ham sandwich, baked beans, sweet potato waffles, broccoli floret, mandarin orange, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's amazing breakfast will be bagel, cream cheese, graham crackers, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, cinnamon ultimate breakfast round, fresh orange, 100% apple juice, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can bre and breakfast can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Ariel. Scholars, let's continue to pass those lessons for this quarter's instructional software challenge. Take a look at the flyer to see what is required and have them done by March 26th. I want to see you all at the incentive party for this challenge, so let's get them done. It is important for you all to follow the cell phone policies. Please keep your phone shut down in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget chewing gum in school is not allowed, so please don't chew gum in the building. Grade 6 through 8. Let's get into the game by going to this fun event on March 16th. There will be games, sports, and more fun. Make sure to give your teacher $5 and get no referrals before the event to secure your spot. I'm so excited for the next family night. It will be next week on March 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be at Off the Wall, so prepare to have some fun and check the flyer for some more details. The picture store is open every morning. Tomorrow, it's the kindergartner's turn. Make sure to bring your tickets and keep earning those points. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Jasmine. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Today, you're going to want to spend some time outdoors because the weather is expected to be a cool 79 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. In other weather news... These blocks of concrete don't look like much now, but they could be game-changing for Florida soon. In an effort to break damaging waves, these blocks are being dropped 750 feet away from a popular beach in Miami. These waves are damaging because when a hard wave hits the reef, it slowly starts to break the coral. This is all a part of a new plan to construct hybrid reefs. A hybrid reef combines concrete structures with living coral reefs. How cool is that? Hey Patriots and welcome back to Patriot On The Go. My name is Oni, now let's see what our peers have to say about today's question. What is your least favorite food and how can you make it better? How would you like to be interviewed? Yeah. What's your name? Aliciana. And the question is, what is your least favorite food and how do you think it could be better? 
Berkeley, and I think nothing can make it better. That's a great answer. Thank you so much. What's your name? Senna. And the question is, what is your least favorite food, and how can you make it better? Um, carrots, and uh, maybe if it was seasoned more. How would you season it? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. What's your name? Carmen. And the question is, what is your least favorite food, and how can you make it better? Avocado. How would you make it better? There's no making it better. Would you ever try avocado? No. Well, thank you so much. What's your name? Carl. And the question is, what is your least favorite food and how can you change it? Sweet potato fries and I would just make them regular fries. What do you have against sweet potatoes? They're just too sweet. Oh, okay. Well, interesting answer. Thank you so much. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. What's your name? Sada. And the question is, what is your least favorite food and how can you make it better? Regular mashed potatoes. Why? Because I can't, what I can add to it is like a little salt and some gravy to make it taste better. Normal mashed potatoes just taste too regular. So you don't like plain mashed potatoes? You like the ones that have stuff in it, right? Yes. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. What's your name? Sophia. And the question is, what is your least favorite food and how can you make it better? Um, I guess fish is my least favorite food because it tastes nasty. How can you make it better? I don't know because I don't eat it. Would you ever want to taste it? No, thank you. Why? It's nasty. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you so much, six graders, for answering the question. My least favorite food has to be, I think, broccoli. And how I would make it better is just season it. Well, thank you so much, Rachel, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. And today's birthday boys and girls are Brielle Carbon, Andres Marulanda, and Celia Myrick. Happy birthday, and let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Hendrik. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Unfortunately, no one got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, which one is the top view of the tower? The correct answer was A. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What is the national game of America? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.